Ben. I want to talk to you about leeches. In the first segment of this, we showed you how I was using leeches to attach to a hematoma on the left forearm. If you recall, I had five leeches placed on this arm. The idea was to allow the leeches to secrete their particular peptides that would dissolve the blood clot, that would promote healing, that would do all sorts of wonderful things. They've done that. Two and a half weeks later now, I just have a small quarter inch raised area here that's going down every day. Now, the benefit of my using leeches is manifold. For instance, if I had gone to the doctor, most doctors not being that comfortable with uh, hematomas, of the left forearm would err on the safe side. A medical doctor would have sent me to the hospital, would have had uh, CAT scans, x-rays, uh, Dopplers, you name it. You know, they all take expensive copays. And then probably somewhere along the line, the OR staff is going to say, well, you know, you've got muscles in there that are surrounded by fascia and you build up pressure, you can start uh, damaging nerves and tissue cells, we better operate. We're going to fillet your entire arm. Well, that's not what I really wanted. In fact, I read about one case where a gentleman went in, they opened up his arm, cleaned the debris, then used leeches to help get rid of the excess clots. And then he got a hospital-acquired infection. He got staph, and that required a further step. Now, my point is this. There are times when you should look at using alternative therapies and times when you shouldn't. Now, I'm just speaking for myself. I'm not advocating that you do any of this. But just for educational purposes, I want to kind of explain a few things. When I use leeches, I try to understand what the upsides and downsides are. In other words, what is my risk-reward ratio going to be? Well, there are some problems that could occur with uh, hematomas on the forearm. You could have a, something they call compartment syndrome where your pressure starts squeezing nerves and causes bad problems. I already evaluated that the first day. I was not getting pressure affecting nerves. I still had neural responses in the fingers and hands could rotate the hand. So I figured I'm going to go ahead and opt for the leech. The same day I got my hematoma, I ordered the leeches. Picked up the phone, made the call, called the man, as they say, and ordered the leeches. In four days, I had them on my doorstep. The first video showed you how I was using these leeches. What it didn't show you is how big they got from half inch to maybe three, four inches long. They get big and fat. In fact, when they're full, they will just roll off your arm. You don't have to do anything. This was pretty typical, except one leech just wanted to keep on having dinner forever. So after two hours, I went ahead and pried him off. I just used a sharp knife point and pried him off. No problem. Most of the other leeches had finished their dinner somewhere in the range of about 30 minutes. Now, there's some things I want to point out. If you're thinking about doing this, you need to understand if it's your first time, you should, you can go ahead and order, you know, five, six, eight, ten leeches if you want, but just try one or two leeches to begin with, to get experience. It's going to scare the heck out of you the first time you try it anyway. So you need experience. One of the things you need to learn is, what am I going to need to deal with this stuff? You're going to need paper towels, you're going to need bandages, masking tape, uh, other adhesive tapes. These uh, elastic uh, bandages are great. The idea is that you know going in that the leeches are designed to dissolve blood clots. When they do that, they're going to keep blood flowing. 
Now, I'm already on Coumadin, so it just kind of made everything, you know, triple worse. Uh, so I knew there was going to be a mess, but that's okay. My reward was greater than the risk. So I knew that I was going to have bed sheets probably getting stained with blood, pillowcases, whatever. Just understand that going in so that you don't get uh, uh, spooked out on, you know, blood. It's okay. It's normal. These leeches, they may consume not more than an ounce of blood themselves, but they may allow drainage of anywhere between one and four ounces of blood. In either case, it's okay. I put on five leeches. I'm not going to have any problems if they all drink three or four ounces of blood. Be just fine with me. If you're just beginning, you need to try and have an assistant stand with you. Because one of the mistakes beginners make is they'll open a container that the leeches came in and the leeches start crawling up the sides and they'll try to put one on their arm and meanwhile other leeches are coming over the side and pretty soon they've got two on their arms crawling, no control. When you get your container in, you open it up, get out one leech, put it on a pencil or whatever you want to put it on and put that on your arm. Be sure you've taken a clean bath so there's no oils or anything to make him not want to bite. He'll fasten himself to your arm and then to make sure he stays there, choose a little cup or something like that and hold it in place. He'll roam around a little bit. He'll find a place that he wants to go for dinner and he'll chow down. That's okay. You'll feel a little sting-like. No big deal. Just deal with it. It's for your benefit. Okay, so have an assistant with you. The other thing is an assistant will help keep you from freaking out. What you don't want to have happen, you do not want to have a leech getting away and crawling up, 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 and, <laughs> well, you know, wherever they go. You want to control these bad boys. They're your friends. You want to make sure that they stay and have dinner, not go exploring. So you want to never try to attach more than one leech at a time. Get one out, get him attached, open up your container, get another one out. You should always wear rubber gloves, makes it easier to get leeches on and off. You are going to be in for just a messy situation. But remember, the reason you're doing this is because you really need some benefit that they have. Now, I could tell you, all kinds of benefits that le leeches are purported to have, but I'm going to discuss what I used it for this time to take care of a hematoma, which was a swelling of blood with a thrombus, a blood clot in there, and because I've got a history of blood clotting, I don't want to perpetuate that, so I want to make sure the leeches can inject thrombolytic to uh, keep any tendency to form clot, new clots dissolved. So I had a good reason. I did not want to go to the hospital and have them experiment on me and possibly give me a staph infection. That part, that's too risky. When do you use leeches? What, when do you decide to use them? You might decide to use them if you don't have any insurance because if you go to the hospital, they're going to run every test they can think of. They're expensive. Maybe there are no hospitals nearby. Maybe you live in a part of the country where it's very difficult to find roads or ways to get to a hospital. But most importantly, use leeches when nothing else works. I'm telling you right now, I have seen some incredible results from leeches. And if I had something that was absolutely incurable, for example, I would jump right on the chance to use leeches. Now, be sure that if you talk to your doctor, and it's you should, you should tell him what you're doing, but only get his opinion as if there's something that says you absolutely can't do it. For example, if he says, well, I know you've got a weakened immune system, you don't want to do it. Or if you're pregnant or nursing, you don't want to do it. And for good reason. I'm just not sure what that reason is. But anyway, there are times when you don't want to use leeches. 
but your doctor is not going to be familiar with them. The first thing he's going to say is, well, you know, they carry bacteria and everything. Well, I've actually tested the, uh, uh, the, the surface of these leeches, sent the bacteria to a lab, and it's the kind of bacteria, it's not staph, it's a kind called Stenotropha monis maltophilia, which is ubiquitous in soil. Your body already has antibodies to it, and it's a pure strain, so you're not going to have other competing uh, strains. In other words, don't worry about the bacteria if you've got a normal system. But doctors always, you know, will tell you, well, you need a strain of, of leeches that are bacteria-free and everything. Now, forget that. Again, you want to make sure that you're using it when the reward is greater than the risk. Don't use it just for the heck of it, because let me tell you, these things are messy. You're going to have bleeding, you know, everywhere. Now, depending on where you put the leeches and your peculiar uh, vascular system, the little wounds that they inflict on you, and by the way, you get a little mark that looks like a Mercedes mark. Uh, these little wounds may clog up and you won't have any problem and you know within four hours or like one of my leeches he just had a whole bunch of thrombolytic chemicals and I'd say it was probably two or three days before that particular wound quit bleeding but that's why you've got all of this stuff don't figure on using little band-aids to control this first let the wounds bleed for maybe a good half hour that's what they're supposed to do then, just so you can deal with it, take your white paper towels, clean white paper towels, and fold up the most humongous big pad to soak up blood that you can make. So, in other words, multiply this about 30 times. Put it on, keep it in place with uh, this bandage. You might even want to wrap it with a plastic, uh, a plastic bag or something so that you don't get blood on your bandage. And then you're going to have to change that two or three times a day. But if you are trying to deal with a problem that medicine has not been able to fix for you, then deal with the little stuff. You're going to feel better. Leeches have chemicals that are going to help your heart, your blood pressure, your cardiopulmonary system, you name it. Uh, but we're, we're talking about what we know here for this video. I'm going to tell you that it, on the first time, you're going to be scared. To use the expression, you're going to be scared spitless. That's normal. Don't worry about it. You'll be scared on the second time, and that's normal. It may take two or three times before you feel that you are in control. At first, these little guys are moving around, and they won't do what you tell them to. That's why you only put one on at a time. Once you put the leech on, hold him in place with a cup, and once he bites in, he's not going any place. Then you take this off, and he's just going to slowly drink blood, uh, and uh, probably uh, drink more blood. But uh, they are very kind creatures. They're going to do you a lot of good. Now, of course, you might wonder, well, what if the unthinkable happens and one gets away, he's getting near, you know, my mouth or something. Yeah, you don't want to let that happen. That's when you go to plan B, which says you've got a pair of scissors and your assistant can cut that leech in two or however you want to do it. Of course, I always like to have some sort of retractable knife that, you know, you can get under those little pinchers and pull them off. But have that plan B in ready. Uh, I've never had that happen. I've had leeches get, get away because I was handling too many of them. But I've never had to go to plan B and uh, uh, have them commit suicide. Okay, so your, your uh, little chest here of toys you're going to have containers to put those fat leeches on. When they fill up, they roll off. You don't have to pry them off. They don't run around. You don't have to worry about that. 
they just kind of sit there and maybe wiggle a little. Take your rubber glove hand and you just put them in a container. So you got a container for that. You got little containers to trap them and put them on your arm. You should have several rolls of bandages. And one of the things that, uh, that I really like is this wide bandage. I don't know whether I can show this very well on the video cam. And by the way, if this doesn't come out very well, I'm just not a videographer. I don't put any uh, remuneration. I don't sell ads or anything. Okay, this is a big bandage, and it will let you cover a leech uh, opening. Now, what this does, you know, if you have to go to work the next day and you still got bleeding, you want to put one of these on, and it'll fasten down pretty tight. So you want to put that on, then you want to put more paper towel bandages, and then wrap it, and then you can go to work. Just remember, you got to absorb enough blood so that it doesn't, you know, give your secret away. These bandages, any bandage, in fact, after a while, there's going to be a little leakage there. So just anticipate that, playing around that. You can do it. It's no big deal. It's not rocket science. So you want these big bandages. And a little tip for you, if you're a guy, you want to be sure that you take your shaver and shave that area clean. <laughs> I don't think I need to tell you why. It has something to do with taking these bandages off. One of the things that I think is really good if you go to a health, uh, home health store, you get these uh, green things. They've got plastic on one side and cotton on the other. You can put these under you while you're working with the leeches. It'll help keep uh, uh, bleeding off the bed and everything. But it's also good, just cut a piece the width that you want, put your paper towels around your arm, and then wrap it up and bandage it up. And this soaks up a lot. This is good for soaking up uh, the excess blood. The other thing that's really good is to take a diaper, cut it in two, and it works just fine. They're made to absorb liquids. What I want to do is to let you know that if you have a problem that nobody else has been able to help you with, it could be a hematoma, it could be a nerve problem, it could be cardiopulmonary, it could be maybe even cancer or diabetes, whatever, try the possibility of leech therapy. They have a lot of valuable chemicals and it's so political that a lot of companies will say, don't do that while they're already using leech products. I guess what I want to do is leave you with the idea that it's okay to think outside the box. It's okay to take a little risk if you know the reward is going to be greater. Keep all of these factors in mind. Be safe. Have an assistant with you. Don't try to handle more than one leech at a time. Be prepared for a big mess. It just goes with the territory. Now, you will start feeling the effect of uh, the beneficial effect of these leeches in about three days. Could be a little longer depending on what sort of uh, cure you're going after. But I've used them for neurological problems. I've used them for pain, for blood clots, and then this latest one was a hematoma. Uh, there are so many things that they're good for. One last thing. You must get the right kind of leech. Only one kind of leech will work. That is called the Arudu medicinalis. H-I-R-U-D-U medicinalis leech. You can go and Google these. You can buy them anywhere. I pay $8 each plus $25 shipping, uh, the shipping fee from this place I use. 
doesn't change 25 flat fee whether you get one or 100 leeches. Some people will charge $25 for one leech. Just you get them wherever you want. And if you have a need, just know that possibly maybe I helped contribute to the solution of that. I'm a naturopath by training, and I'm doing this to help people learn from my positive experiences. I'm not here to pimp for pharmaceuticals. I'm here to show you what nature can teach us. Well, that's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope it can benefit someone out there. And I hope I didn't mess up this videotaping too bad. Anyway, have a great day. We'll see you again.